Resident Evil. Okay. I forgot that I had done that. Oh, blue herb, whatever. Didn't mean to take it, but eh, it can't hurt, right? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with Meox Fu. And I forgot. I am the biggest idiot ever in this game. Because I forgot. And I gave Chris all the ammo. So I really hope that uh, if we do have to switch back to Claire, she can, um... She can survive, because... She's kind of screwed otherwise. Oh shoot. Um, I don't remember what I'm, what I need to do any, anymore. Um, hmm. Also, we don't have anything for Chris to take on heavier powered guys behind besides the Magnum. Hopefully, we won't regret this immediately, and I won't have to go right back to where I was the last episode, refight Steve, rewatch Steve dying, and all that junk with Alexia <laughs> becoming the Human Torch, apparently. Well, not quite the Human Torch, more like... Oh, who, what was that movie based off of a Stephen King novel? Firestarter, wasn't it? More like that. Anyway. She had more of a Poison Ivy outfit going on there, except with rock or something. Anyway. Enough dwelling on the past. We have a friend up here, don't we? Well... Time to see what this Magnum can do, I guess. Unless, has Wesker decided... This shit is too heavy for him? I guess Wesker's gone. Who would have thunk it? Hmm. I'm absolutely okay with that. Anything's changed in here? No? Doesn't really look like it. Because maybe Alexia... We saw her get up after the fight. Maybe Alexia's gone berserk. And melted all of the ice in the main room. And now we have to fight a spider. Oh god! I don't know, honestly. No, ice is still here. Did, did we... We got the gem from Alexia. Which we placed in... Uh... What did we do with it? We placed it in the portrait. Something happened. But there wasn't really a good indication... ...of what. So, I'm gonna run around for a little while. No, I'm not, no, I'm not just gonna be an idiot. No, I'm gonna check places we've been already and see if, uh... ...anything significantly changed. And 20 minutes from now, I'll realize... Wait, you're an idiot. There was something you could have done... ...miles back. You didn't even have to leave the mansion area. Come on. And I'll go back to the mansion area and be like, Well, actually, I decided I'm not gonna be an idiot... ...this time. And I'm just gonna cut to where... ...we left off. Maybe. Well, I didn't really expect anything to be in here anyway. But, you can't be sure in these games, you know how it is. Oh, 
Maybe we can just melt the ice with the lighter? Actually. No? Can we... Hmm, the only thing, other thing I can think is maybe like... No, of course we can't cut the cable. That's a cable. Don't be ridiculous. I'm just gonna keep trekking rooms. Stunning gameplay and stunning commentary, isn't it? Hmm, we haven't been back in here. Maybe. Maybe. Well, wait a minute. Go back into that room for a second. Wouldn't the wouldn't we have access to take the uh, valve handle now? Since I mean, Claire doesn't need it. She's halfway halfway underground. I'm trying to think. She's halfway across the base underground. There we go. Yeah, we should be able to take it, right? Yeah, I want the Octa Valve Handle. I mean, you could just call it the Valve Handle, but whatever. And... No? Oh, come on, I was hoping you guys would come to life or something this time. Did I see a sparkly back there? Come on, I thought I saw a sparkly. Well, it is all ice. So I guess it is all gonna be sparkly. There we go. Well, that took us a while to get them up and running. I guess they're... Got a deeper sleep than most, so I can't blame them. Ooh, these guys are strong, though. <laughs> Just breaking through the ice like that. Come on. Ooh! Come on, I know the drill. Get off of me. Well, I guess I'm pretty bad at the drill. <laughs> I don't want to waste all our shotgun ammo now that I know that uh, it might be a while before we get any real weapons again. Yeah, just, you know, don't even come towards me. That's fine. I'll just do whatever I have to. He's over there, I know it, but... <laughs> Damn these camera angles. I can sort of see where he's gonna be if I just keep using the camera like that. <laughs> this is a bit over the top, I'll admit it. Oh, there we go. Man, you guys take quite the beating. You're not your average garden variety of zombie, are you? There we go. I mean, come on. I got the ammo to spare. <laughs> I do not have the health to spare, though. Ooh. I just realized how long I am on healing items, because Claire has the other double green herb. Okay. So we have to go... I think we want the to go back to the place with the water. So I think that needed an octagon handle, didn't it? Well, we'll find out. If not, we'll have to do a little searching, because I'm not exactly sure... 
who else is going to have that kind of handle? Oh, no, it's square. Oh, where else did I see a handle? So we came in through the hangar. I honestly can't remember just by looking at the rooms. Um, I know at the very least we won't need it in any of the main areas. I feel like if we do. Gonna be downstairs? No. I'm really wondering if I should try it anyway. I'm gonna try it anyway. I know it's not gonna work because video game logic. I mean, you can't be put an octagon in a square hole. That's madness. Madness, I tell you. it would uh, ostensibly still work. <laughs> no. Of course not. Of course not. Okay, octagon. Was there a, uh... The search for the elusive octagon hole. Is it down here? Is there anything else I could do down here? I don't think so. I think we've done everything we need to down here. <laughs> I can move the body. That's hilarious. Oh! No wonder I could move the body. What the heck was th what? <laughs> That's crazy. All right. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Jeez, you are taking a beating, Chris. Let me get you some health quick. Well, you're still on caution. Should be good for a while yet. Um... I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna ch check back in the main area just in case there's something there. There's nothing over here, is there? Pretty sure you just need the key. Yeah, you need the crane key. Then where are you going? Hmm. Quite the puzzle. You cannot fit the octagon into the square hole. You must find an octagonal hole. Obviously. Is there anything else left in here? <laughs> Just a green herb that I missed somewhere? Uh, no. <laughs> Hoping beyond hope. Oh! There is, however, ammo that I missed. Only useless books left. I could perhaps staunch my wounds, but that's about it. Hmm. Oh, it was worth a try, and we found bullets! I mean, come on. Those are hard to come by in this... 
I can't even finish that. Oh, if only bullets were herbs. That fountain sounds very 60s hippie now. <laughs> if only bullets were herbs, man. There'd be no war, only... Peace or something, man. I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel for these jokes. Wouldn't even call them jokes. down on Steve from here. Well, what's left of him. So I guess, can we can we call down Claire from here? Hey, Claire! Um, toss me up an herb or something. If, if you don't mind. We have three combat knives. Wait a minute, I, I, need to, I need to see how ridiculous this looks. Three combat knives. Luger replica. See, I don't know. There's weird parts to puzzles. I really wish I could switch to Claire and just you put the shotgun where it needs to go. <laughs> I mean, I could go back and make sure she has a shotgun, but... No. Okay, it was worth, worth a shot. Figured I might see if Chris could burn away some of these webs, maybe. <laughs> oh man, so would these moths have grown now? Ooh, maybe it's the one that we fought in Leon. Is it? No. It was Claire's story in Resident Evil 2 that we fought the giant moth, wasn't it? There's nothing up here. Is there? Wait a minute. There's the emergency exit. No. This is just gonna bring us up to the Harrier so we can escape. This is troubling, because I thought I could have remembered, I thought I remembered there being an octagonal hole to use the, uh,
whatever it is that we have now. <laughs> Can't even be damned to think of the name for it. The valve handle. But... I can't think of where it would be. Unless it is down here and I've just been wasting my time. Completely possible. Switchboard on the floor. Electricity connecting device. The socket is missing, missing, but the socket looks like it's octagonal. No, of course not. Um, maybe we use the paperweight for that. I don't know. I'm grasping at straws now. Maybe we use the luger. It's the Luger, I'm gonna flip. Nope. Nope, of course not. And... There's the hollow in the shape of an octagon, I knew there would... <sighs> I knew there was something. <sighs> I'm just ashamed it took me this long to find it. There we go. That connects the socket. Okay. Now we can use the switchboard to get the power back on. Yes. With your ghost hands. <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure if that was an electrically. Is there nothing else in here for me? Okay. <laughs> Wanted to make sure. Oof. Now this is blinding. Oh, jeez. Again. What the heck? Hello, Resident Evil 1 Mansion. Oh, this time we can move the statue. Interesting. I don't care about whether it's cracked or not. I just want the ammo. Do you know what might what might be a good idea? Instead of just giving Chris all the ammo yet again. Oh, hello. No kidding. You know what might be a good idea instead of just giving Chris all the ammo again? Dropping off the ammo and maybe building up another reserve for Chris. It's a woman drawing water. No kidding. Okay, so how do we get the map? Do we even need the map? I was just guessing, I don't... <laughs> oh! Well, okay. I mean, I was thinking that maybe we'd jump up on the, the counter and get it that way, but that works too. No, I'm just gonna get the ammo. I'm too... I don't wanna waste the time going back. Alright. So, uh... No, oh, okay, we can't. I was thinking we could unlock it, but... 
That's fine, too. You know, it might be a good idea to put one of those protective suits on, Chris. Seeing as you're in a lab or something. Alright. One second. Just wanted to check how long we've been going. I'm gonna check out this room and then I'm probably gonna call it an episode there. Now that we've actually got the ball rolling. <laughs> Quarant er, not quarantine, disinfecting. You might have wanted to put on the protective soup suit, Chris. The protective soup. <laughs> Hello, hello. I don't like this. I'm leaving. <laughs> um... <clears throat> I don't want to deal with that. Anyway, this has been Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica. The show where I just bum around for 20 minutes doing what I could have done in maybe five. I'll probably cut it down a bit. Anyway, I'll see. You. Whoa, hello! <laughs> I guess I'll take the jewel. Um. Ooh. The red pill or the blue pill? Can I put them back? I'm gonna take the... Oh. What do we have here? Well, yes. Oh, okay, we can put the jewel back. That makes things easier. So we have a converter for uh, no, <laughs> God damn it! We have a converter, basically, for the uh, valve. It looks like where we can um, we can convert the octagonal thing valve. Valve. We can convert the octagonal valve to a square valve. Let's see what's on the other side. Magnum ammo. Very nice. I'll put the jewel back for now. Okay. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with Mayo See you guys next time. Take care now. Keep thinking these are guys. <laughs> Baddies, if you will. <laughs> a picture of a chubby woman. Anyway, alright, see you guys next time. Bye now.